A great place to see the Old and the New Testament come together is the book of Daniel. Daniel 7's roadmap to the eternal kingdom. Starting with Babylon, count four kingdoms. Count 11 rulers within that fourth kingdom. There would be a war between that 11th ruler and the Jews. While that war was happening on earth, one like a son of man in heaven would be crowned as king over the eternal kingdom. I kept looking, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man was coming. And he came up to the Ancient of Days, and to him was given dominion, honor, and a kingdom, so that all the peoples, nations, and populations of languages might serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. At the time of Tiberius, Jesus warned of this same war. Truly I say to you, there are some of those who are standing here who will not chase death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Forty years later, Vespasian, the eleventh ruler, burned the city and leveled the temple. The book of Revelation, at the very time of that war, announced, The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. This lets us see that Revelation's beast of eight emperors is a subset of Daniel's list of eleven Roman rulers.